What's up, folks? This is uh, Monday, two days after the fight, and uh, just giving an update. I didn't get to go to the press conference and um, say what's up to everyone. Basically, I had to go to the hospital and get my leg checked out. He did a great job of uh, using his, his uh, leg kicks to, to break me down. And my left leg is swollen. It's a uh, hematoma. I went to the hospital because they, they want to make sure that I didn't have a, a blood composite, which can you know stop circulation to your foot and things like that. And like Aldo, we said, started out as a soccer player. Yep. Division one at Boston College was Florian. Semi-professional in Brazil was Aldo. Kenny also has a very sharp right jab. Important and imperative to Florian's success is his footwork, too. It's Aldo. Oh. He got stopped. There's the power. He got of Jose Aldo. A lot of fakes. Getting Aldo to think. There's the first kick by Aldo. And oh. again, and there you go. You heard his brother Keith say, move to his left, move away from the power of the right kick. Head kick. Tossed aside. There's another inside leg that has been excellent. He's worked that a ton, got trained and acted and fought. They're moving so quickly. Nice inside oh, leg. That was huge. Rocked him. And he followed it up. Now Andre Pedanera said, yes. you're taking away his mobility with those leg kicks. Keep punishing he, he's the right leg. Right. He's absolutely right. Well, Check. he's checking it now to keep Aldo guessing. Again, there's that inside. As gutsy as you've seen taking the leg kicks. That's a dangerous technique. Kenny's very good from this spot. Team. Ten seconds! We have gone the distance. Five, five minute round. Striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. Such the speed of Jose Alba. Front fight when the hurricane came through Florida. Off -off stands a lot of times to be able to use that roundhouse on the inside of his leg. Perez to the inside leg. Oh! Obvious when you see him fight. I mean, he's the quicker guy by a lot. Let's go away. Combinations. Dissipating away from the strike. Don't worry about your nose, brother. Keep your hands off your nose. if not have an answer for Aldo, at least he was keeping him questioning, and then all of a sudden... Five rounds of fighting for the title at 145. Been a good night for the Brazilian fighters on the main card thus far. Shooting it right down the center and catching him. Nice straight right, may have hurt him by Aldo. Uh, Another again. one. Right into a title fight. Oh! There, is there it is. Big one. Man! Under 30 seconds and another one. Frankie can't take no. too many of those. Yeah, leg speed is different than hand speed and splitting the punch and timing the jab. And there's a nice leg kick by Frankie. Oh, oh that was nasty. That sound. The thud means the shin bone, and that one right on the knee. He's placed in the same spot of his opponent's leg. There it is again. Look at that. It's hard to tell. But he ate another one. There it is. Another, oh, big, big right well hand timed. by Frankie, yeah, though. Well timed. Right back up, though. Right back up. Man, 42 career takedowns, third most in UFC lightweight history. Another And there's kick. another one. Look right at right the back up as the champion. Separates us from the championship round. Nice. Even on a damaged leg. That one landed. Frankie almost caught it. The... Oh! Rounds for sure. Again, he tags him. It's up the fight. Oh! And they go the distance. Aldo and Edgar. And Aldo. And if there have been any criticisms of Aldo, oh, beautiful combination. Nice combination. Long time without a fight, Joe. Nicely done. Vicious left to the body by Aldo. There's a right hand by Aldo that was partially blocked.
and the left hand partially blocked as well. And a leg kick behind it that really just caught on the toes. That's a good kick. Oh my! That was a good kick. That was a that was better a real kick. <laughs> yeah. Shame. Aldo with a slight lead in total strike. Aldo's countering and brilliantly so. He clipped him with the left hand there. And another beautiful leg kick. And he's starting to, yeah, he's starting to turn it up now. Yeah, you can't take too many of those. Looking for his sixth title defense. And again, the Lamas is trying to just throw it, and every time he does, he gets checked. And now Aldo oh. just tags him with two in a row. To the teep again by Aldo. To the body. Under 90 seconds on the clock here in round two. And then the right leg kick. They call that the Dutchie. There's a nice high kick by Lamas. Just blocked. Oh, his leg gave out. He's hurting. Big time. Oh, man. And he put it on Mark Hominick, too. Oh, and again. Those are brutal. And that one, where you don't hear anything, those are the ones that hurt the worst. We were talking about yes. that earlier in the broadcast. That switch to the body, and there, another one. Aldo's always been in the heat. Yes. There's another one. But even more so now, to Chris Weidman. Oh, beautiful setup. Again, he faked the great knee. combinations. Oh, my God. Fantastic. That's just nasty. It's perfect. Yeah, it, it, it's certainly, oh like that, man, yeah. another one. Munoz was knocked out by a blocked kick of Leota Machida. Entire careers. Oh, oh, nasty left to the body and right to the legs. And that's another fight where he slowed down, the Edgar fight. Where a lot of oh, nice. Well, you know, and you talk about it. It looks like he's trying to take Lamas down, and he does. It is all over. They go the distance. And still, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Aldo and Hominick for the featherweight championship. You ready? You ready? Here go. we go. Early combination by Aldo. Truly one of MMA's elite, and those leg kicks are vicious. Very good with his jab, but already two big kicks. And a vicious left hook to the liver followed by that leg kick. What a pace they set early. His, his explosion with his legs, his ability to... Multiple kicks that have landed, courtesy of Aldo. Again, so many soccer players make an excellent transition to MMA. Oh, he takes it down. Now if Aldo doesn't do something, and then he does. 20 seconds. Again, to the body. Vicious, vicious leg kick. But how many can take those leg kicks and he's down again? Roll down and affect your vision. School. But one thing to be considered to leave early because he was feeling lightheaded. To slip the punches. Hominick, there's a takedown. Tries to set up the takedown. Big uppercut. How many can start to get loose, Mike? Nice leg kick. In the second, Aldo was successful. Beat up the gun. That left leg. The jab by Hominick is very nice. Look at that straight right. I mean, he knows the exact amount to move. His mom, Marie, is Brad Hominick. Oh, 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 big shots by Hominick. Aldo pouncing on under 90 seconds. That combination that led to Hominick oh. on his back. Condition Hominick's legs are that he really hasn't felt. He got hurt there, there's a gentleman. There's that leg kick again. And that fight against Jose. Three and a half. And again, he with wobbled him with that one, yeah. Mike. And again. again to the same exact spot. Oh, he's, he's limping yeah. now, Mike. Like the Hall of Famer Chuck the Iceman Liddell did. Oh, jab. Oh, he's hurt. Rocked again. Aldo on top of Hominick. A lot of time remains. Big round for Jose Aldo. Good job. Amazing that, okay, the doctor's gonna look at it again. Jose, get right there. Good to go. Wow, That's the play right continues. Equal to that of the champion who again punishes the leg. And again counters nicely. In front, 
of Aldo with a big uppercut. Aldo hurting with that uppercut, Mike. Delayed reaction. Look at this. Hominick takes him Trying down. To choke him out. Nope. Have gone the distance. Wow. What a fight. Doing his push-ups. Aldo as well. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the UFC featherweight. Somebody that does that with their hair, John Clay Guida <laughs> and now Jonathan Brookins. What's the distraction, huh? Yeah, I think it's a distraction. Look at that. Now he's just go like Uriah Faber and just corner roll those babies. Yeah, like Jonathan I, Brookins is looking to land that lead left, but right now he's getting ate up a little bit by Jose Aldo's uh, superior deep. kicking abilities. Looks like he's gonna keep throwing. Oh, wow. he threw a right hand right down the pipe, dodged right outside the uh, the jab. There. Oh that. my, that inside kick just totally threw Brookins off balance. Oh, he's yeah. to oh, right roundhouse is awesome. Damage on Jose Aldo to hurt. Completely off balance. See that? Look at that. After that kick, Jonathan Brookins is standing on one foot. Is that lead right is hard to pick up uh, uh, from the southpaw, Jonathan Brookins. Wow. Man, that yeah, his knee's gonna get damaged. He has to come up with something. Triple terms, you know, I'm not a doctor by no means. But he's got about a four-inch advantage on that reach, so why not just lead with that? Oh my god. You can just tee off on the chin. We're back with the straight right again. See how he's leaning over there? Set it up, right? I just see the kick coming, fire a straight punch down the middle, knock your opponent over. Getting up that right left hook though. Kick oh! again in a combination. Not just trying to finish the fight. Look at that swept leg him. kick. Just swept him. That was a kick. Jose Aldo was a world class strike. Yeah. Look at that. Aldo's got that right cocked and ready to go. The takedown. There he goes, tries to shoot on Aldo, slowed considerably for Jose Aldo, but again, knees tonight, courtesy of Aldo, and there's another one, knocking it clean off the canvas. You know, uh, featherweights need to be watching this fight, because yeah. uh, the ground game, I mean, his guillotine's probably one of the best oh, in the world. My. That is a, just a recipe for disaster. Almost everybody else is eating the kicks that he just ate. Jose yeah. Aldo, I think, is going to even do a little bit more kickboxing display. Look at his stance. He's so Mitigating quick. Power. I mean, he's thrown off. So that's a great, great. Sorry, I'm just not, admiring the but power it's just not of the kicks. Oh, and a Please big stop. right from Aldo. Drops Brookings to the canvas, and he's in real trouble. I can't believe this kid survived this that's long. That's it. Wow. Awesome. Troy Waugh has to stop the fight. <laughs> Aldo is a scary guy. This place. Let's fight! Tonight's clock brought to you by Muscle Farm. Hands against Mike Brown, creatively throwing elbows in the light. Seven months of rehab. Things up his favor, Joe. Yeah, favor switching stances. Good body shot and leg kick. Fights together for five, five oh, minute rounds. Knee. Many fights before. You do battle on the feet until late in the round. He's trying to land a knee to it as well. And Aldo lands a big knee to the body. The Octagon, UFC 13, two weeks from tonight. Good Shot to the body. Kick. Oh, good leg kick. Oh, my. He throws a shot. Aldo is just slightly out of range. Faber leading with that right hand a lot, Joe. Again with the leg kick. Again, see how Aldo is finding the distance. Plus, as you know, Joe, you, you turn those hips a little bit, you gain yourself a couple of inches of reach. And again, again that was a beautiful, beautiful leg kick. The whole outside of the leg. And again. And again, look, he's left oh, it yeah, back. That, that, good. Yep, that one caught him. And if he does consider taking this fight to the ground, he's, he's going to take away his spring there. All those chopping him down with the leg kick. Now he's on the body. He is in deep, deep trouble in this fight, Mike. In Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. And Jose Aldo just oh. continues to put on a Muay Thai running. He heard a bad, yeah. he heard a bad, Mike. I don't know how much more, as you said earlier, he can take, Joe. Yeah, there's things to go here. Man. He's not doing anything crazy. He's not taking any dumb chances. Discipline. Taking no unnecessary risks. <laughs> to the body. Oh, and again, hard. Scramble. And look how quickly he got to his feet. Very freely kicks it well and delivers oh. another shot to that same spot. That one was devastating. He's... Oh, oh, he got hurt. Oh, they're looking to finish. Bayer's in trouble. trouble. Opening up on him there. Again. Oh. Oh, man, that 
that was a hard one. Oh, great shot body to the shot. body. Left hook to the midsection. Down goes Faber. Final seconds of this third round. Performance thus far by the champion. Again. Faber can't do much right now. And again. again. Oh, man. He's badly, badly. He's jacking up the knee is what he's doing, too. And now he's giving up that front leg, as I said before. But Aldo's going to attack that. And that's what he did. If you look at Uriah's left knee, he's unnaturally swollen. He gave his leg a break. Well, he's not going to... Good body, body shot. Again. He's hurt. Jose Aldo might very well be the best pound for pound fighter in the world today. <laughs> to remain the featherweight champion of the world. And he will leave the way that he entered as the champion. And, and still.